Welcome back friends here to the outpost at Lantern One coming to you from inside the hidden tree fort here in the FLA. Just want to do a Caribou Dave two for one good gear review. Uh, just a couple more things I've had for canoe camping and you can even use it at your RV site or on a weekend trip whether you're in a teardrop, an RV or just uh, backpacking or canoeing. Backpacking these items may not necessarily be as weight friendly if you're an ultra light type type hiker. However, if you're doing like a car camping weekend, I just did Hontoon Island State Park and these are a couple more items I used at Hontoon Island that worked out for me very well and through the year. I've got the, it's called the Dew Cooler, I believe. I look up the actual brand name here. I had it, had it on my, had it on my phone. The Dew Cooler, D O. This is the Dew Cooler, D O C O O L E R. Propane slash butane lamp. Hooks on one of these uh, bottles. I did. It's about twenty three bucks on Amazon. I've had it for over a year. Uh, two reasons I got it. One was a heat source. Secondly, was a light source. I opted for the metal outside instead of the glass on it as well and uh, one is I just didn't want to break it and sometimes glass when it overheats or gets stuff on it'll crack um, there were some reviews on there about the glass cracking and then people buying the uh, mantle or the uh, cover from um, Snow Peak I believe it is it goes over this one already comes with the metal puts on, surprisingly I thought with this metal cover on it, it was gonna block a lot of light the thing puts off a lot of light um, I don't have a lot of night footage with it just because I don't but it does have a Pizio or Pizio igniter There we go. The air moving, um, but she puts off a, a fair amount of light, and it's it's uh, very adjustable, especially when you get it tighter on the bottle, and uh, it puts off a good amount of heat as well. You can hang it from uh, your metal hanger. Uh, it's good for it's a good camping. Uh, these fuel canisters aren't super expensive. They're not um, super cheap either, but. Apparently this burns 12 grams of fuel an hour if you leave it wide open. Um, it's almost too much wide open. I, I've tended to run it, crank it down here and run it like on a just a real low setting and just it's a nice glow. Had it on the table down at Hontoon Island and uh, didn't really shoot a lot of video with it but I did use it at night and I do like this thing. Um, it just doesn't have the globe. That's what I was looking for. It doesn't have a glass globe over it. Um, the globe is metal and it doesn't really block that much light and it, it puts off a nice amount of heat um, My thought was again that Worse comes to worse, you know propane heater if you need in the camper if you're on the road Don't want to run your heater and don't want to run your propane. You can run this and it's going to put off um, Some good light and some good heat of course with proper ventilation in your RV because we all know that running anything with gas in your RV is going to kill you instantly um, So just use that at your own discretion. So that was that one and I'll give you a, a view of my stove here and shot some good footage of that. I've used this quite a bit. And let me look up the name of that and I'll be right back with you. H O U S or H O U Sweetie. H O U S W E E T Y. How Sweetie stove. It runs about 12 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it's similar to the Primus stove. Cook on, I cooked on it quite a bit. I like it because it simmers and it has this larger burner. Um, I have a jet boil system, which is nothing but a water boiling machine. I love my jet boil. You can you can boil the crap out of water in no time flat. That thing is awesome. However, for the accessories, you have to buy a special top to run pans on it. This one has pan has legs or extenders on the legs, so your pans can sit on it. Uh, use this for the fry pans for making pancakes, that kind of stuff. Uh, my buddy Dozer, when we go canoe camping, he brings his kids along. And if they're watching, shout out to you guys up there in the OH of IO. Hope everything is going pretty well up there in the Buckeye. And you're having a good winter and doing well in school. This does not have the Pizio or however you say that igniter on it. Um, but it does have simmer settings. And it does not have very good windscreen. So anytime you're going to use any kind of these stoves, you're going to want to windscreen them. But it, it's, it's very, it, it adjusts variably very well. So I've got like a low simmer all the way to, you know, melt your face off hot. So it's a good to go, good to go stove. I've uh, been really happy with it. It does boil water really well. Being that the, the fire ring distributes a little wider on it, 
you know, a, a larger pan is probably better for cooking uh, cooking your hot water soup on. Um, and I, I am a, a, a connoisseur of hot water soup. I learned that at the, uh, the ski resort. Uh, my buddy Steve was uh, the kitchen guy and was really good at making his hot water soup. But So the House Sweetie little stove here for about 12 bucks. Works on a canister, uh, different brands, they all generally work together. And then the Dew Cooler Lantern. Uh, these are two good items. They're good for um, less than super lightweight camping, but they're good items to take on a car camping trip or just to have around camp here uh, in the FLA or wherever you are, um, because I'm hoping that wherever you are that you're doing what you can where you are with whatever you have. And uh, the Adventure Dog uh, does endorse these products. Um, they cook food that she loves to drool over and it gives her light to see at night uh, when her night vision is not kicked in. So Caribou Dave here, remember to please subscribe first of all, it's really important, like and thumbs up, and hopefully uh, these two items that I do recommend, uh, will, and, and this other lantern by the way does take a uh, mantle that you burn in here just like any of these lanterns do, so always take extra mantles because they are really fragile and they can shatter. Um, this one's been on in the car and bounced around and it, it does pretty well. Um, the best ones are the ones with the strings on them. I had some with the metal bases. They don't work quite as well, uh, but hey, they all, they're all good to go. So, something to cook on, something to see what you're cooking on. Caribou Dave, Adventure Dog, thanks for watching. See you soon.